This here is a 1984 FXSB. This is the last year shovel head production for the civilian market. They did make 385 FLHPs only in 1985. Other than that, 84 was the last year. 84, they were made concurrently with the Evolution model. Depending on which model you got, determined whether you got an Evo motor or a shovel head motor. All your FXSBs that were made in 84 were a shovel head. The FXSB was also made in 85 and mid-year 86, but that came with an Evo motor and the frame was slightly modified to put the Evo motor in it. It is matching number bike, it is original paint bike, it is damn near bone stock, but it's not stock about this bike. Is the exhaust pipes, the air cleaner, and the pullback risers through the handlebar control system is stock, but it's been replaced with chrome items. Although it does still have the Yankee turn signals and there's a bracketry that attaches the rear turn signal to the strut, which is missing. But the turn signal is there. We're going to fire it up here in a minute and test the systems. I have not fired this bike since I got it. We just washed it and polished it, so it's gonna smoke a little bit as it burns off the detail stuff. I'm gonna walk around the bike and show it to you. 84 was the first year of this later style, soft tail Evo style caliper. They did come on the shovel head 84 FXEFs. It is an original paint bike. These are the same type of tires that came with new at this time, the Dunlops. I assume they've been replaced because it has 37,000 miles on it. Original Speedo, original Tack. These are accessory lift ride covers here for the gas caps. In 83, they came with a screw on gas cap. See, it screws on. Okay, that's 83 and 84 shovel head. 82, it did not do that. But 82 had these later style controls. No longer had the little tiny buttons. Still had the Yankee turn signals here. And again, the turn signals are original, but the handlebars look stock, this look stock, this look stock, but these have been replaced with chrome items. So the headlight visor is stock, but the headlight itself has been replaced, which tells me the bike has been rewired. The front fender itself is a aftermarket that has been repainted to look stock. The stock one would have the little bars that come out here, but the original mag wheels, it does have the single disc front brake, this is the first year for that with this late Evo style front brake. Now I know the twin cam stuff is totally different, but this was considered late model and cool and high tech at the time. And this is a 84 style or Evo style mag wheel. This particular brake, again, was only offered on the shovel head in 84, and it is correct for this bike. It did come with all this lovely black on it. Now the primary itself would have been silver. Just like the heads there, somebody's put this chrome primary cover on it with the engraving. And this here would have been stock with a HD medallion which somebody has stolen at one time or taken off. Which it is, I don't know. A lot of these bikes have a little gas come out the left side and kind of peels the decal a little bit. But it is original. This is part of the history of the bike. Do not repaint this bike. This is an original paint job. Now, 84 and 83 were unique. They had motor numbers on the left side. Your 84 has it in front of, underneath the front cylinder, and the 83, one year only, has it underneath the rear cylinder. So if you ever see a number with a, under the rear cylinder, you can count the numbers here. E, that makes it 84. Okay, B would make it an 83, count backwards. C, 82. B is 81. That's your year, right there. Original barrels, original heads, those are the correct heads. Your FXSBs were always rear belt drive. They're no longer made of Sturgis. 80, 81, 82 were your only Sturgis models. Only three years. 83, they no longer made a rear chain drive low rider. came out with the FXSB. So they kind of combined the two. And in 83, 84, they came out with a strict rear master cylinder reservoir because of the new brake, higher volume, all that sort of stuff. It is... An original carburetor, Dash 81A. So, we're going to fire right up, test all the systems, see how she works, take it up down the street for you. Assuming my battery's still charged, I have not fired it up since I got it. So we're going to try it right now.
are not equal. This is an exceptional one. Runs extremely well. Very fast for a shovel head. Idling perfect. Listen to that bike. That is the sound of a shovel head. That gives me butterflies. They're not a pan head. They're not a knuckle head. They're their own machine. And they are very, very cool bikes. I love shovel heads. They are bitching. Ain't nothing like a shovel head. They're their own thing. What a nice bike.